All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I was going to wait to see if we got some poll selection news, and unfortunately, we still haven't, so I'm assuming it's going to be coming out on uh, the 25th on Monday, but it could be a bit wrong. We'll have to wait and find out. So I guess I'll be going over the Nightmare Guild Quest difficulty in the game. Uh, it's going to be dropping the 25th. It's only going to be here for one week, so keep that in mind. I have a feeling they just completely undermined how strong some of the characters that they have in the game are right now, because I doubt they really, like, playtest their game all too much, considering they dropped Rampage in the game. Like, let's be real, that's this skill is beyond insane, especially on Quilgy because of the insane strong attacks that he was given. Either way, I think that they didn't expect people to clear very hard guild quests with a 1 out of 5 character by themselves. So they're probably uh, trying this out and just seeing how people clear it. Uh, I have the stats one out, I'll show you in a little bit, but I, it's not here forever by the way. It's only here to the 31st and then I believe it just goes away. Uh, and they will also be increasing the rewards that you can get. So you know you can get more points and you'll get more of your clear rewards kind of hope the rewards are actually somewhat worth even attempting because i think the biggest complaint for people right now about the very hard guild quest is the rewards are very lackluster unless you're in an incredibly high guild like a plus or higher and at that point then it's amazing like the guild quest rewards are like great because you can probably clear it considering you're in such a high guild but if you can't even clear the very hard guild quest you just get absolutely shafted and you just don't ever want to improve your guild quest it, it, it is what it is so i hope that they actually do make the rewards worth it and not just give you like hogyuku wills or something it's like they have to understand that the main consensus for doing nightmare difficulty should be either something you can't get anywhere else like maybe a title or something i don't really know maybe a little thing around your name and then orbs that's that that's what people want okay um but it, it's interesting gonna see how it goes obviously <clears throat> We have the schedule down here. It's going to be in a wrong card killer and no affiliation killer. So keep that in mind. You're going to be uh, melee a wrong card killer. So I believe that's Kogi if I'm not mistaken. And then no affiliation ranged. So there you go. I'll probably have a video on who you should bring uh, in a few days time. Probably a day before this drops. So like Sunday. Probably not Sunday. Probably Saturday considering Sunday is, you know, like Bankai Live. But either way, uh... This is a high difficulty aimed at players who have already cleared the very hard guild quest difficulty, so you have to have already cleared very hard. Keep that in mind. It requires a well-chosen team as well as fast reflexes and probably resetting for like three hours. I already have to reset on some of them and it's not very fun, not gonna lie. So I don't know how I'm gonna try this. I'll probably just be like, hey, this is my run, here it is. Unless I have like an actual like broken team for it. But I don't summon for dupes in this game, really. Like a lot of my characters nowadays are just 1-5. Because I didn't think that they would be amping the guild quest too much. And now they are. So it's like, uh Maybe they'll add it as a permanent game mode. Because I have seen some people say that they genuinely want Nightmare Difficulty. Which I do, I can see. Because if they don't add Nightmare Difficulty, then guild quest becomes irrelevant. Because you can just absolutely destroy it. Once we get to like 9th anniversary, every single guild quest will probably be beatable with an entire 1-5 team. So... Yeah, and then they also added in the T20 abilities, which made it even easier, especially with the links, the T20 ability links. It, it, it's just going to get crazier and crazier. Uh, the rules of Nightmare Difficulty go close are the same as those of Very Hard, but the enemies have higher stats and an even higher score can be attained. With this increase in attainable score, even more score rewards are also being added. Now do keep this in mind, with the opening of the new limited time Nightmare Difficulty, we'll also be making the following adjustments to very hard guild quests from the 25th of de December. I don't know if this is a permanent change, it doesn't say an end date, so I assume it is, but they're going to be decreasing the defense of enemies in waves 1, 2, 3, and then decreasing the attack of bosses in all waves. This is probably so you don't get randomly one shot because it's really dumb but i mean to be honest i don't think that matters too much because if you get hit one time you lose almost all of your dps on this game which is probably my my least favorite thing i wish it was like okay so in grand cross there's a there's an ability called flood and if you have 100 percent hp you do 100 percent damage of, of like extra on the card if you have 90 percent hp you do 90 percent damage 
So it's not like, it's kind of like full stamina, but if you get hit once, you don't lose all your damage. I kind of wish full stamina was like that. So just the more damage, the more HP you have, the more damage you do. If you have a little bit less, you just do a little bit less damage. If you're really low, then obviously you do way less damage. That's kind of how I wish it was. Either way, uh, the lowering the defense is amazing because this means you probably don't need to have like a, 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 a uh, maxion sided character, or at least, or at the very least, you probably don't need a golden chappy to beat these. Because if you have a T10 or a uh, level 10 attack character, 200 uh, attack on your links, and then you know normal attack damage, the chappy, the hollow bait. And then the Golden Chappy, you can get over the 4,500 defense right now in very hard guild quest. But without the Golden Chappy, I don't think you can do it. So this is probably what that's for, just so that people, newer people, can just be at least wave 1 to 3. They can get the orb rewards for that. And, you know, it, it's all hunky-dory for the most part. So... That's what I'm just assuming, uh, but the, these adjustments will make the Vader Heart Guild Quest easier than before, so aim to clear Wave 5 as well as get a new high score. So yeah, Wave 1 to 3 will probably be like almost one shadowable now, to be honest. Like I assume it's just going to be super easy, which I'm all here for. I don't mind that. I think very uh, the very Heart Guild Quest is like whatever. Uh, unless it's like the ones where it's like times 3, then it's kind of iffy, but either way. Gonna, looking forward to seeing how that's going to go, but now let's look at these stats. So this is the stats that they have uh, my, uh, leaked by Heekin a few days ago. I posted this on the community tab. Um, but this is the uh, very hard for 1222, and then 1226 for very hard, and then 1226 for level 3 nightmare. So the final boss goes from 2.5 million HP... Wait, 25 million HP all the way to 45 million crazy i don't even understand why they increased the damage on the characters like their max attack but sure uh and then if you look at their defense so like this is what we have like right now basically this is like their defense and whatnot and if you look the first few waves is lowered by quite a bit to me it's like wave one you're probably gonna one shot with like one strong attack dear dear lordy and then bro their max attack is that Oh my god, their max attack is 1,800? Okay, so it is actually significantly lowered, actually. That's really good, then. That's actually really nice. That way you don't just get absolutely obliterated. Uh, they're ma they're and so right here, you used to only be able to do damage to your nag characters if you had more than 4,500 attack. But now, at wave 1 to 3, it'll be 3,000 attack at least needed, 3,500, 4,000. And then at wave 4, for the very hard and nightmare, it's 4,500. Uh, and then 4,500 for the final wave, but then on the Nightmare difficulty, it's 4,000, 4,000, 4,500, 4,500, and then 4,650 attack you will need. Now, do keep in mind, if I go to my uh, Max Transcended Okiora for my guild quest, he easily has more than enough, and you don't even need him Max Transcended, I don't believe, like right uh here so if you do the math he has 1700 attack 40 right there and then plus 4400 so that's 5000 that's like 6400 attack if i'm not mistaken like i i math 6100 attack maybe i don't know 17 plus 44 yeah, 61, six, I think. Oh, God, it's math. Uh, so that's with a golden chappy and whatnot. So 6,100 attack. You can take off the 500 attack here. And then you're still at like 5,500, which is more than enough for this. So I assume that if you don't have a max incentive, you're still fine. Because I have the extra attack from all of my links. They are, now granted, she is your max incentive. Uh, they're all T10 as well. They all have attack and SP as their links just because why not? Uh, and then obviously, you know golden chappy, so I Assume for nightmare you're probably gonna need a golden chappy still But I don't think you need a 5-5 character to break through that 4600 uh, Max defense. I swear I saw a leak of it being like over 5,000 uh, a few months ago like a month or two ago uh, but I, I think uh, people saw the leak and just bashed K-Lab for it, which I kind of agree. You should not need a max transcended NAD character to damage. That is ludicrous. I don't care how old the character is. You should still be able to do damage and 
pass a few waves with a 1-5 uh, maxed out character. Like if I had this character 1-5 or like my Aizen. Like I use Aizen and he's like maxed, but he's only 1-5. I shouldn't need a 5-5 five, five to clear a few waves, you know? But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see how it's going. I'm probably going to get absolutely slapped. I, I doubt I'm going to be able to do any of these unless it's just like a really good week for me. Uh, but like a, a Captain Week where the damage is only times three or a Spada, I'm not seeing me clearing it to be honest. It's probably going to be impossible. But let me know down below your guys' thoughts and opinions. I'm kind of curious. Uh, but uh, yeah, best of luck to anybody who's going to try to clear it. I assume some people are going to be absolutely tryharding it because that's what a lot of people in the BBS community do. They just like to try hard. And hey, if you enjoy it, that's fine. Uh, but take care. Peace out. I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day.